how to graph a quadratic equation in vertex form? First thing that you need to do is identify the vertex. Now, what is the vertex? As we discussed earlier in our uh, other uh, form, which is the standard form, the vertex is the uh, lowest point. If A is positive, so this is the minimum or the lowest point. And if A is negative, the vertex is the maximum point. Now, as we discussed earlier in our other video, that the A is located for standard form is the coefficient of x squared or it is the number in front of the parenthesis x minus 8 squared for vertex form, or it is the number in front of the uh, parenthesis for the factored form. So the vertex is uh, located at x, y. Now to make a special not, uh, notation for vertex, we will uh, change our x to be h and the y to be k, so we know we're talking about vertex. Same thing with this is x, y, but we can say it is h, k for our vertex. Now, let's do the example. For this, as we can say, uh, comparing, we have the a, x minus h squared plus 4. We can say our a is equal to 2 and our age is equal to 3 because look there's both negative and we can they say the age is equal to 3 because if age is negative then this should be positive 3 in the equation then our k is the uh, sorry for that this should be k so our k is the uh, numbers outside the parentheses that we, we, we separate the plus or minus so this will be our k now this is our step one now for the second example we can say this is y is equal to a x minus a squared plus k now here, as we can see, there's no number in front. If there's no number in front, it is equal to 1. But there's a negative, so meaning a is negative 1. Now, our h is uh, negative because, as we can see, it's positive and negative. So, meaning when you substitute a negative 2, this turns to be positive. So, h is negative 2. Then, our k is equal to negative 5. Then the next step is make a t-chart, draw a number line, identify a number before and after the x-coordinate of the vertex in step 1. So we will, for step 2, we will draw a t-chart. So this is x and y. Then we will draw a number line. So our age is 3. So if this is 3, the number before 3 is 2 and the number after 3 is 4. So we're using 2, 3, and 4. Then here for our step 2, so we have x and y. So drawing the number line, we have h is negative 2. The number before negative 2 is negative 1 and this is negative 3. So we have negative 3, negative 2, and negative 1. Then after that, we have... Uh, Step 3, we substitute the numbers identified in step 2 to the variable x of the given equation. So our given equation is y is equal to 2x minus 3 squared plus 4. Then we will substitute the numbers to, anyway here we have a is 3, so k is 4. Then here a is negative 2, k is negative 5. So let's uh, go back for this. So we have y is 2, our x is 2, minus 3 squared plus 4. Again, we get this number from this number. So 
we have y is uh, 2 minus 3 is equal to negative 1. So we have negative 1 squared plus 4. Negative 1 squared is positive 1. So this will be equal to 2 plus 4. So y is equal to 6. So this will be 6. Now, as we can see, the numbers, the step uh, between the vertex and the number before and after is the same. So it's one step uh, different. So therefore, they have the same answer for our y for x is equal to 4. Then here for step 3, we have y is negative x plus 2 squared minus 5. So we will substitute negative 3 plus 2 squared minus 5. So we have y is negative. Negative uh, 3 plus 2 is negative 1 squared. So negative 1 squared is negative, is positive. But there's a negative outside, so this is negative 1 minus 5, so we have negative 6. So this will be negative 6. Again, the steps between the vertex and the number before and after is the same, so we will have the same answer for this. Then next is we are ready to do the graph. So let's graph the given uh, numbers in the t-chart. So we using the numbers in the t-chart. Let's draw first our x and y coordinates. So we have the x and y coordinates. So this is the y-axis and this is the x-axis. And we have x is 2, so we have 1, 2, 3, and 4. And the y is 6, so 1, 2, 3, 4. 5, 6, then if x is equal to 2, y is 6, so we have this. Then if x is 3, y is 4. And if x is 4, y is equal to 6. So this is our graph. Connect the dots. This is the graph of the parabola y is equal to 2 parentheses x minus 3 squared plus 4. Then the second example, we will do our uh, t-chart again. And it's all negative or the x and y coordinate. So we have the y-axis and this is the x-axis. So we have negative 1, negative 2, and negative 3. And we have negative 5 and negative 6. So we have negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. And this is negative 6. So if x is negative 3, y is negative 6. If x is negative 2, y is negative 5. If x is negative 1, y is negative 6. So connect the dots. We have this graph. For our equation, y is negative, parenthesis, x plus 2 squared minus 5. So these are our uh, graph for this uh, problem. So let's recap our steps. So we have how to graph a quadratic equation in vertex form. The first step is identify the vertex. So from the equation, and second is make a t-chart, draw a number line, identify a number before and after the x-coordinate of the vertex in step 1. And third is substitute the numbers identified in step 2 to the variable x of the given equation. And the last step is we can graph.